Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video. Some unfortunate news it looks like I gotta cover in this video regarding Starfield. We're all excited about the preload going live. You guys know our boys over at Green Man Gaming got the discount on that game if you're looking to pick it up. However, a point of contention for this game has been ever since they announced that AMD partnership and whether or not DLSS would be present in the game. I think a lot of us had our reservations on whether or not uh, this partnership that Starfield field Bethesda had with AMD would prevent, uh, you know, or apply like a little bit of a block or something like that for DLSS to be in the game, and it looks like that may be the case, as noted by Sebastian Castellanos on uh, Twitter. Sorry if I butchered his name. So after combing through Starfield preload files on PC, I don't see any sign of it supporting DLSS or XCSS. If true, I think this would generate a lot of backlash for Bethesda and AMD due to their refusal to confirm whether they block rival GPU vendor tech in their sponsored game. I think the fact that they didn't comment on it kind of tells you everything you need to know. Like, unfortunately, like, that's usually what happens. You know how Rockstar didn't talk about Red Dead Redemption having visual upgrades or frame rate upgrades? I wonder why they didn't talk about that, because they're not gonna be there. If something was gonna be there, and if something could be used as a promotional vehicle... Why wouldn't you talk about it? Oh, wait, because it's better to not say anything than saying that it's not going to be there. Because if you say it's not going to be there, that's going to cause a negative storm. Let's just not say anything at all, and that's going to make things better. Like, generally speaking, that's how these things work. Now, will it be modded in? Probably. That's what happened with Jedi Survivor. And I saw people getting wild performance increases with Jedi Survivor after modding it, but... Nonetheless, this is still a very, very unfortunate reality when it comes to Starfield. A $70 game or even a $100 game if you're buying the premium edition from, like, Steam. Um, but yeah, this is just, like, something you're gonna have to accept. And it's just, like... Yo, when Bethesda, like, came out with that partnership video and Todd Howard was talking about it and was like, this is gonna let us take the game forward and this is a necessary partnership, bro, just shut the hell up. All that happened was you guys got some money and uh, I'm sure it's a significant amount of capital. Like, let's not get it twisted. A deal like this ain't coming cheap. And, uh, you know, it's just unfortunate that we have to be the recipients of the negative aspects of it. If this does ultimately uh, happen, the thing is it will support F FSR, and that is incredibly important, especially when you see the prevalence of these portable gaming PC platforms, your Steam Decks, and your ROG allies of the world, and I am still entirely adamant that this game will eventually be Steam Deck verified, and, um, you know, it'll run on the ROG ally, because ROG ally doesn't have a verification system, but you guys get the idea. If it's Steam Deck verified, it's probably gonna run on the ROG ally, given the ROG ally is even better, and I've been playing Ratchet Rift Apart on my ally 1080p, running fairly well. Well, I'm shocked at how well that game runs on the Ally, but, you know, that game can run. I imagine that Starfield, it is imperative for them to get that game running on these portable gaming PC builds. But the reason they haven't said anything about that, and the, what I am thinking, is because they want that info drop as a promotional vehicle for the game. We're still going to probably have to wait a week, maybe a week or two, before that game gets, uh, probably a week and a half or something like that, before, you know... One final push, game is deck verified, and that would bring a significant amount of buzz around that game, and I think that would, you know, get a lot of attraction attraction on social media, but as far as DLSS goes, it not having that, or if it ends up not having that, that is a significant, significant blow to the game, and ultimately, like, the modding community is gonna be all over this game. The modding community for this game is gonna be wild, and we already know with Bethesda games that you're talking about Bethesda open world games like a Skyrim and a Fallout 4 having a lot of technical issues, and... Even with Skyrim, it wasn't that bad, but Fallout 4 certainly had quite a few technical issues, but the modders, even outside of the technical issues, man, they come in absolutely clutch for these games, and they refine these games, they extend the life of these games for years and years. I just saw a post on Twitter of how Skyrim looks with all of these graphical mods installed, uh, the graphics mods installed on it, and it is wild. Like, modders are gonna make Starfield a... Oh, so, uh, they're gonna make this game so much better than what it ends up being, but uh, just not having DLSS right off the gate and officially support it, if that ends up being the case, that's just a huge, huge bummer. Like, I get it, bro. You're getting paid a lot of money, and that money is probably... Like, it's not like the developers have any say in that. That's a publisher decision, and if you're getting a lucrative amount of capital for, uh, you know, signing this partnership agreement, like, I understand why they're doing it, but it doesn't mean that I'm not gonna be upset about it. I hate any type of exclusivity agreement. If you talk about PlayStation getting exclusivity rights for Final Fantasy 16, I hate stuff like that. Um, 
you know, I feel a little bit different where it's like Epic Game Store are directly funding Alan Wake 2's development, and here I am def uh, defending EGS. But this is just like, yo, here's a partnership, and the only people that are really getting screwed over is the consumer here, uh, because Starfield was gonna happen whether or not this partnership came to be. It's not like the, the AMD partnership is what made Starfield exist. Like, no, in the case of Epic Game Store, like, they made Alan Wake 2 exist from what I know, so a little bit of a different ballgame than that. But whatever, I'm rambling. I'm disappointed if this ends up being reality of the situation but let me know all of your thoughts in the comment section down below as always thanks for watching i will catch you guys in the next one peace out Hey, what's going on, guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate it if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the content I'm posting. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.